All right, right. So Vasraga has definitely just bulldogged us into the corner and beaten the hell out of us this round. Let's try and uh, turn it back around on him a little bit. I mean, we, we might even be able to, to do something here. There you go. That's kind of what I was expecting the first time, but I guess he was saving it for when it would kill. He's got Brave Counter, I suppose. All right. Bonk, bonk. And that's quite the comeback there, don't you think? I'm very happy about that comeback from basically that boss completely running away with the rounds earlier on to us bringing it back. You know what? I, I still got it in me. I know, I know I've been, you know, I, I just got, I just got clowned by that Loane, but you don't have to completely lose faith in me. I promise, you know, I, I still got it. All right, welcome back, folks. We're back here with some more Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising action for you here on the road to Master. Got a little bit of a demotion uh, going on. We, we're back here in S plus plus four. I mean, it is. It feels good that S plus plus four is a demotion now, right? That wasn't that wasn't the case a long time ago. Uh, was it used to be the highest we've ever gone. So uh, definitely not too mad about it. But you know, we, we fought some some zoners who did some some very nasty things to us in the last video, and uh, they sent us back down here to S plus plus four. That is, uh, and yeah, we're we're fighting this Anila who I believe I actually did fight before. I, I fought this Anila earlier. They, they were a lot less passive than this the last time I fought them. I tell you what, I'm, um, I, 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 uh, I mean, they were there, right? They were blocking. I don't know that I would, I don't know that I would recommend taking the, the first raging strike. Like I get, kind of get it, I guess. You want to sit, conserve your brave points possibly, but this is the, this is the, the definitely strain. They don't, the, I'm pretty sure I fought this person in the last video and they were playing very differently than this. There you go. I mean, this is, this is a bit more of the, uh, the signs of life that we were seeing earlier. Wake up, king. You dropped your crown. Wake up, queen. You dropped your crown. Could be. You never know. Ow. Oh, okay, yeah. Can't can't quite... Whoa. Can't quite beat out uh, the, the sheep there with ultimate closing on, right? Because that, that hitbox of the sheep is just going to be there the whole time. All right. I mean, they're being very passive in the corner. Which I suppose, you know, that's is, as of the right. Really? Okay, okay. I'm like... I was, I was actually really worried about doing the Raging Strike there, because I'm like, there's no way they don't spot dodge this, right? But I guess there is way. All right, DP, that's fine. That is the one thing that Sunila did uh, like her DP quite a bit last time we fought. Okay, so she's got no Brave Points now. Okay, okay. So she's definitely dead. Sounds good, sounds good. Bit of a strange uh, strange match there. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Any wins that we can get. Punching the cross-up jump there. I didn't actually expect cross-up jump. I just jumped uh, in general trying to bait a 2H, kind of like that. But when I saw a cross-up jump, you know, I, I was still able to uh, to capitalize. That was basically the perfect spacing on 6-6H there, right? That was probably as plus as it can get, which I believe is plus two on block, is, is the best that it gets. Oh, I could have, I think I could have 2 h that? I don't know if I, if because like with the with the wake up timing and the fact that she had some, some frame advantage to work with there, I'm actually not entirely certain, but I think so. Yeah, there you go. They never expect the double cross-up jump. I don't know why. It, it, it tends to be extremely effective in my experience. Uh, you know what? If I had done a Raving Strike there, they might have died. Instead, they're not going to. I'm not going to do anything too uh, too crazy here. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you jump might not strike you as something that isn't too crazy, but you have to remember it was an empty jump. So they don't get the big red counter sparks, right? All right, all right, all right. Let's let's uh, focus up here a little bit. I feel like we're winning, but I just something about this this match against this Anila right now. I just feel like I'm in like a completely different. I, I mean, like the Shadow Realm. You know, I mean, like mentally, I'm like not here. Mentally, I'm somewhere else. It's just like something about like this this person is not. It's like you know when when you when you haven't seen someone in a while and the first time you run into them again, they're just like acting completely different, and you're like you know who who are you? Well, this isn't this isn't the person that I used to know. And I'm kind of getting that feeling with this Anila right now. I'm like I fought you. 30 minutes ago, and I feel like you're playing very different than you were just just those those wee 30 minutes ago. You know, uh, I mean, I'll take I'll take them blowing the cooldown on cross up jump there. They're not going to convert into Super Skybound Dart, which I'm okay with. Next hit shifts you. You're you're in some in some danger here. When I get headbutt back, you better you better believe you better believe I'm going to make you suffer. Oh, or that or that. That is the thing about Anila's cheap, right? Is it does have quite a bit of recovery when she sends it out. All right, well, the Catalina picture greets us once again. The bug where Catalina shows up is the character you're leveling, but it's fun. And uh, yeah, we we, made, we managed to make it back into S++3 there off. What the heck? I don't think I've ever done that. Uh, we managed to make it back up to S++3 off that Anila there. Strange, strange match. Uh, that might not have been the same person, but I'm pretty sure the colors, the name, they're familiar. But regardless, we'll take the win and we'll move on here as we try to continue marching 
upwards, and uh, we got a ni another match right away. So no, no cut for you, no escape. No escape from me uh, talking in between the matches here. And this Siegfried, we actually we fought the Siegfried before also. I mean, it's, you know, you saw the uh, the Ghost Town video, right? This is kind of how it goes. Uh, we're, we're fighting a lot of the same people here in S++, because it is, I think, um, the least populated rank besides, like, it, well, obviously besides Master, but, like, it and Master are a lot closer than you think. And I think it's because you can't, uh, it's seeming, to my understanding, you can't demote out of Master. So, you know, everyone who gets to S++, eventually... A lot of them end up getting to master. Maybe get you know yes, you're feeling really good. You're playing really well one day, and you get to master, and then you know you never have to worry about the moting ever again. Is, is my understanding. So there's not quite that same bottleneck effect at S plus plus one that there is um, for a lot of basically for every other rank in the video game. So yeah, S plus plus is a relatively empty rank. So let's let's try and be uh, one of the people who has escaped this rank upcoming here. Oh, DP, yeah. So this Siegfried was pretty DP happy when we fought him. Uh, but that's one of those cases where, like, I can't really respect DP there. I don't, like, I just kind of, a lot of things have to go my way in a row for me to win that round at that point with it being so disadvantaged for us. So one of those things was for me to, to like, guess that he wasn't going to get a do DP and guess correctly. And just, you know, it just so happens that he, whoa, he did the bigger, slower one. So I spot dodged too early there. Ow. Ow. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. All right, he does, he does like to do that. Ow. Okay, yeah, I mean, this guy, his, uh, his corner pressure is definitely blowing me up this time around. So he's going to take this first game pretty convincingly there from the Siegfried. So well played. But I'm going to try and uh, adapt a little bit. Because basically what I'm doing is I'm jumping too much. And I'm, like, giving... I'm, I'm, he's doing a lot of things where it's, like, you know, he's doing big uh, a big block string into something that catches you mashing. Right? So I got I to gotta be more prudent about that and uh, pick my defensive options a little bit more wisely. Oh, damn. I did not think that... that uh, is that his sweep? I, I would assume so. It starts off a lot faster than I give it credit for. Bonk. All right, all right. No no DP from him that time. Again, like, I'm not gonna... One of, one of the mistakes that you can make is get overly conditioned by someone who does a lot of DP and then start respecting it all the time and basically just giving up your turn for free without them having to do anything. That is that is uh, double plus ungood, as they say. So I'm not gonna be doing that. Especially in situations like this where, I mean, like, even if he hits me with DP right here, uh, I'm not really too mad about it. Super Skybound Dart is a kind of a bit of a different story. So we're going to die. This is, you know. Okay, okay, okay. I was being a little bit more passive and just pokey there. Just because Super Skybound Dart is one of the things that could possibly turn that round on its head. Uh, but, like, just regular DP, you know. Who cares? Oh, cool. Little stray hit there on the headbutt. I will never, you'll never catch me complaining about that. And now you're in the blender, good sir. Okay, DP. I'll get you out of the blender. Temporarily. Bonk, bonk. Thank God for headbutt converting from that day, from that distance. Oh god. I should have done a raging strike or something, and then I did it the second time just to like prove myself prove to myself that I could, you know. Oh. I did not the the neurons did not fire to tell me that 2H was important there. Oh, okay, cool. This is a dead sick free. Alright, and we take the second game back. Not quite as con actually he should be dead, right? Yeah, yeah. We take the second game back, not quite as convincingly as he took the first game, but well, we, you know, we two owed there, so that'll be still a good showing by us. Let's see uh, how the third round shakes out here. It's always interesting when the first, you know, he wins the first one super convincingly, I win the second one pretty convincingly, and then it's okay. Well, it's, it's final final round or final final game, I suppose. Who's uh, who's got it in him? Who's got that dog in him to do the the, the, the counter counter adaptation? Oh, he just didn't do anything off the record there. Interesting. Uncommon option. DP there is, is pretty good, just because it gets him his turn back, basically. It's kind of like almost cup rave counter, right? Where it uh, gives him another chance to run some pressure on me here in the corner, so fair enough. That is a that is a more high-value application of DP, for sure. Uh, I don't have 100 meter? That's just mean. Oh, yay! And now I don't have any brave points. Problematic, to say the least. I don't think this will hit. Yeah, I'm too far. That's a problem. That's probably my my biggest ticket to try and get back into this. Yeah. Once I whiffed that Super Skybound Dart, I was probably dead, right? Like, uh, my, my big ticket there was hit him with Super Skybound Dart and then get the Brave Points going in my favor and get one more lucky hit off of him and kill him, right? But I got a little too antsy with it, and uh, therefore I got reduced to Adams. Okay, cool. I don't know if that's him uh, misinputting something for DP there, but you're not going to see me complaining about any stray hits that I can accumulate regardless. Okay. No throw for you. 
The Siegfried was a, a fan of some back throw. Oh, I thought I would get Far M again, so I went right into super. Uh, I actually, no, I think Far M converts into EX clothesline, so I should have just done that regardless, even if I did think that. Oh god! I didn't expect him to get hit and uh, be in, in air flip state there at all. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll take him. I mean, it's, I know this gives him corner carry, but I'll definitely take him doing this, just for the sake of him not having access to super and, like, some really big damage off of his next hit. Oh god! I got, I got completely, yeah, I got kind of uh, gimmicked out there, right? I wasn't expecting that option at all. Backdash was not my, my best option there either. Oh, but, okay, 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 staying alive because Brave Counter is plus, even though he blocked it. I think Brave Counter is plus six universally in this game, so even though he did manage to block the Brave Counter there, he uh, it still was not his turn to do things. Okay, back throw instant, as is your right. Right, yeah. good old... Dragon block string there. Ooh, I thought that was my turn to hit a button there. I suppose not. It's gonna get you off of me. If that's okay. Okay, brave counter. Not gonna complain too much about you. Oh, and parry. Nice. Luckily, he doesn't really get a combo off that. DP. Yep. See this this late into the set. This is where I'm gonna start being uh, really like. Looking out for situations with DP in them and punishing them to try and cash out on all of the conditioning over the course of the set as much as I can. Now I might still lose. Okay, I'm very happy about that. Just to remove some of his meter. Oh no! Damn it. Yeah, if I was uh, maybe a little bit more on the ball with him whiffing the, the big ultimate move there when I spot dodged, I could have punished a little faster. I think I spot dodged it in time anyway, right? But, oh well. I mean, pretty pretty cool set uh, between, between us and the Siegfried there, right? It was pretty close uh, the whole way through, especially in that last game. So, not not necessarily... I'm not, I'm not necessarily mad that we lost that. Right? Obviously, there's a couple of things we could have done a little better here and there, but I think we played that pretty well overall. Alrighty. Took us uh, quite a long time to find a match, actually, but... We're here with an S++5 Mir, who wants people, who wants him to buff Swift Master. Uh, this is actually one of the one of the one of the first times that someone has had something on their card, and I have had any idea what it is. Uh, I know that one. He's uh, from DNF Duel, the uh, much, uh, to my understanding, much maligned Arc System Works game. Uh, not exactly a uh, crowd. Oh right, you can't jump over near DP. How foolish of me to even presume to do something so arrogant. Uh, but you know. The much maligned Arxis fighting game, not necessarily their their most critically acclaimed one. Even though, I mean, for the most part, they make, uh, I think, pretty much everything Arc System Works makes is pretty well received, but DNF Duel is a bit of an exception to the rule. Hello, Death. Alright, well, uh, a little bit of a staring contest with the Nier there, but we'll take it gladly. In any case, Swift, I thought... I, to my understanding, also, isn't Swift Master uh, really strong in that game? He's he's sort of like the he's like the chip character, right? He's the fast, the fast dude with not a lot of health but like a ton of options. That sort of archetype that tends to always be pretty good. In oh, I thought I was blocking. I suppose I was not. Uh, that sort of archetype tends to be pretty good in like every fighting game. My armor beats your armor. I actually, you know, I did not know that I could do that. Uh, I just like tried that on a whim and it worked out. So yay, I suppose. I never thought about countering her DP with headbutt there, but I suppose it works out. Uh, in any case, well, as I say, yeah, so Swift Master still be pretty good, right? But maybe, who knows? Everyone, to my understanding, everyone in that game is horribly overpowered. Uh, so, you know, maybe maybe he uh, he got power crept over time. As they buffed everyone to the moon and back. Right. This is a, a deathless Nier so far. They're, they're like, I don't I don't need, they're trying to break their curse or whatever the hell. I don't know, I have no idea what Nier's lore is. But they they were uh, not using death for most of that round there, actually. Very interesting. There you go, that was... Her trying to uh, her to dodge the what's it called? Dodge the brave counter, right? But I will not be denied. I'm just a little patient, a little more patient on my brave counter. Oh no, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Near her DP does lead to a full combo, unfortunately. But I kind of wanted one more time to guess that she wasn't gonna DP on wake up there, and then you know for the final potentially hit that could have killed her, then we could have uh, you know we could have been talking about potentially baiting a DP. Oh, okay, yeah. Bonk. Just don't mind me. Okay. Oh god. Just out of range there to get a very satisfying punish on the DB, unfortunately. Oh, and this is gonna be a full combo. Oh, or not. Okay. That's fine. He does like that overhead, for sure. Oh, that's not supposed to be air-to-air -air grab. That's supposed to be uh, ultimate clothesline. 
The second the thing I did the second time around. Oh, okay, okay. Little stray hit there on the jump you, which I'll gladly take. Um, and this is an int interesting situation, because the next thing we do, we'll kill her. Alright. DP? Oh, man. Damn it. Maybe I, I was really considering doing super skybound art on her wake up to just kill her with a grab, but I didn't commit to it, and unfortunately, that's going to uh, send us to the Shadow Realm there. Okay, okay, well, that's, I think, 1-1. One, one. Uh, so far, we won the first game, then you won the second one, so let's try and close it out here in the third. I'm gonna super jump. <laughs> oh, God, DP. All right, all right, understandable. I'm in, I'm in the blender now. I'm in the, well, not, it's not even a blender, it's not necessarily a mix-up or anything. It's just, I'm, I'm literally getting cut to shreds by a bunch of blades. Sort of similar to what might happen in a blender. Okay, brave counter nerd. Oh, God. No dumping over that. Okay, okay, but hold on. We did uh, hit her in the startup of some other death move, which I will gladly take. Oh, no. And we're dead. Right, there's no way that we live this, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another time, actually, where Super Skybound Dart probably would have killed. Uh, but I, I didn't quite want to commit to it. I was, guess I was a little, a little scared of her jumping, but she hasn't really been showing me that she does that a whole lot. So. Oh, just out of range on 6-6-H six, six there. Unfortunate. Okay. Baited the 2-H there with an empty jump, and now we go from here. I'm not going to respect DP. I kind of did. I said that, and then I, I got scared because it's near, and near's DP scares me. Okay. What do you want from me? The, is that, is that, is that, are you, are you happy? Are you proud, are you proud of yourself? You got me to admit that I'm scared of near DP? Because I am, okay. Oh, no. Uh, okay. I'll do my grab super this time, though. There you go. I finally learned my lesson. It wasn't super skybound, uh, but we did manage to still break, get it out there, so, you know, uh, a kill's a kill. Doesn't matter. Even, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll assume that that is the adaptation there to use super skybound. All right, near. Okay, yeah. She does like. She sure does like walking back at round start. This is a whole. This is a whole combo. Damn. All right, out of range for. Uh, I think that is just out of range there for the the light SPD. If, if you get like a really far hit of six six L like that, it's not quite kosher. Bonk. I really should have just like done a raging strike or something probably because I didn't have a clothesline, but raging strike definitely would have converted off of that. So. Bonk. Yeah, that, I mean, that has been very effective against the Sneer, so that's fine by me. Can I kill here? No, combo limit. Never mind. I can't kill. Definitely not. I didn't realize I didn't see it so early on. Oh, damn it. I was scared of throw, and now that's going to be my life. Understandable. I think throw, I think throw would have killed me there in my, uh, if I hadn't, if I hadn't uh, sort of silly, in a silly way, used my 50 meter for the ultimate air grab there to attempt to kill because I hadn't noticed the combo limit pop up. I could have had headbutt in that situation, right? Which would have very greatly tilted the situation in my favor, probably. So a bit of the, the, the core misplay that lost us the game at the very end there was definitely not recognizing combo limit and wasting 50 meter for no reason, basically. But, oh well, uh, decently played set against the near. A right, little quicker on the matchmaking here, and it is Lois Wayne. Lowane IRL, oh my god, we found him guys, it, it's it's him. Uh, sir, I, I'm, I'm your biggest fan, I think you're I think you're funny and, and well, I was gonna say funny and cool. I don't know how cool Lowane is, but he's funny, you know? There's something, there's something cool about being so unabashedly yourself, the way that Lowane and his, his bro family are. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, Okay, I was gonna say, at some point, I gotta convert off of one of these, like, just, you know, free hits, basically, that I'm, I'm being given here. Uh, and eventually, I did manage it. Uh oh, I was begging, I was betting on him doing parry there. He did not, instead he did that. Uh, which I guess I'm somewhat okay with. Bonk. Yeah. That is gonna catch that little run back that, uh, I, is that Lowen's back dash? I assume so, right? I actually don't know. It, but it doesn't look like it's invincible at all, so I maybe that's just him walk. Maybe that's just how his animation of like walking back looks. I actually don't know. The fellas, or the one fella, the other fella is remaining in the back like some sort of coward. That sounds. This, this feels very familiar so far. Like this round is going exactly how the first round went. Like was that was that like literally the same new? Uh, this is like the same sequence of events exactly, right? Except he did the super outside of the, like the corner positioning of where we are is different. 
But literally everything about that round went exactly how it went last time. Uh, in a deja vu. Oh god! Oh god! I dropped my combo, and now I, I deserve to die for it for sure. I mean, that's my my bread and butter right there. Oh god! Yeah, I definitely. I mean, I definitely deserve to lose there, right? How do I drop the like the? We've, how, how many times do you think we've done that combo? A thousand? A thousand? It might be a thousand. It might be more than a thousand, Don. I mean, we play like five hundred matches, I think. But it's fine. It's fine. Ow! Hello, fellas. Woo woo! He's gonna brave counter you, honestly. You scared me. You got me. I don't want to be here anymore. And you'll, you'll trade a gem to force me to continue to be here, which I suppose I'm not too upset about. You got a super? Oh god, I was mashing. Oh, fuck. But he did not properly manage to uh, punish that. He was a little too slow on the draw. Okay, okay. So, brave point economy looking massively in our favor. Uh, I hope he doesn't get super skybound dart off of this, because if he does, I don't know what to do about it. He's probably just gonna super on wake up, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, I, I, I swear I crouch blocked there, but I guess I was a little too slow. Okay, what's the problem? Oh, I couldn't beat the Catalina tank. She's too fast, man. I was I was kind of weighing whether or not I wanted to do something super offensive to... Uh... Oh. Oh, does he want to... Oh, I was like, maybe he wants to watch the entire Loane outro. I mean, fair enough. Uh, anyways, I, I was kind of... Weighing whether I wanted to do something offensive to uh, to beat him trying to zone me out there, or whether I wanted to respect Perry. And unfortunately, in that circumstance, I basically I waited too long to commit to something offensive, which meant by that point I you know had already been walled out. Okay, Perry, that's fine. Oh, unblockable situation. So true. Bonk, bonk. Get. Oh, I was gonna, I, you know, I was gonna command grab him, but now I'm just going to get this happening to me instead. Just fine. It's, you know, uh, worst things have happened when people have spent 100 meter before. Oh, nice. No, oh, he's done it. He's done it again. I'm just gonna do this now, and you're gonna die. So you know, you're not the only one with, uh, with throws, brother. I got, I got a bigger and stupider throw than your big stupid throw. Uh, I don't think this, this is killing. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. I guess I'm underestimating how much damage Ladiva's uh, super skybound dart does. But I figured, you know, he, he, it wasn't the the max damage one. He had one bravery point left. So, so who knows? But. Bonk. Oh, okay, cool. A little, little stray hit there without five days. Again, you can you can parry there. You're not gonna catch me complaining about it too much. Hello, fella. Okay. Monk. I'm just gonna spend my get out of this situation free token. I'm gonna get anti here, right? Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Uh, fair enough, I suppose. Bonk. Nice. We managed to, to beat him out on speed there a little bit. Oh, was I not? Maybe I was just crouching and not blocking there, like I've done a couple of times before. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. But uh, we, we expected the parry there, and honestly, if I did, I probably should have thrown or something. I don't know that waiting and then doing headbutt uh, was necessarily my best option there, but it, it did work out. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll take it regardless. Ow, ow, I have been hit by the low. Well, Wayne doesn't do a lot of damage, huh? is uh, definitely something I'm noticing. Ow. Oh, okay, okay. I thought with him whiffing his, his button there, there would be some room for me to... Uh... What the? Wait, he stole the corner then? Is that what happened? Well, I got perfect. Well, well played to Lois Wayne. Did he steal the corner at the end there? Why wasn't I in the corner? Was that the Catalina tank or something? I actually have no idea what happened. Oh god, that is definitely not what I meant to do. I meant to do uh, running heavy, but instead I got... Freaking uh, raging strike because I did I did triangle and circle as it were on a, on a PlayStation controller or light and heavy or medium and heavy rep to those who are uh, more acquainted with things and what they are called in this video game. All right, uh, well that was a, that was a bit of a strange round for sure. I still don't know what he did in the corner all the way back at the end of the last round, but uh, am I gonna get punished by this? Okay. Oh god. I thought maybe I, I have no idea when that ends. So I thought like I blocked it enough times that I'd oh no. He just whiffed a throw in my face? Like it's like that. The madman? The absolute madman? Um What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I thought like I, I thought I had survived long enough against that super, right? I thought I had earned my freedom, so I I, I tried to because I know it's punishable when it ends. So I tried to uh, to beat him up for it, and it was a horrible idea. It was not, it was not yet done. 
How, how's the, how's the, the body splash from that fella there going to beat my big grappler body splash? That doesn't seem fair or realistic. Look at how much bigger I am than these these little cat boys. Oh, okay, yeah. I tried to 2H there, but I didn't realize just how much block stun I was going to be in. I thought maybe I could get... Oh, he did it again! How does that work? How does that work? Well, I, 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 neither time have I noticed what exactly has pulled me out of the corner. Does he have a move that kind of that kind of suctions you in? I, I, I just haven't... Yeah, I didn't notice either time. Interesting. Lawain, uh, a character of, of many tricks, I suppose. Is it? What? I mean, there, it's possible that it's something that's just... Something even that isn't Lawain specific. Like, did I walk out of the corner both times there? It's possible. I, I wasn't paying enough attention to my screen position that I, I could have done that and not known. That's definitely... I might have to watch the replay back on that and try and figure it out. Just because, like, neither of those times was I at all prepared to have to worry about being crossed over. A Stalfo lover, you well best girl, Vasaraga, uh, you know... If, if every if there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot that's being communicated in this here character card, okay? But we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna move forward uh, and you know say that everyone is entitled to their opinion. Now, hello, sir. Oh, I thought it would, I thought he would go for the, the grab right away. Oh right, I didn't realize uh, the I guess a lot of the ex projectiles there. If you do them in a block string like that, they are a plus. All right, all right. So Vasraga has definitely just bulldogged us into the corner and beaten the hell out of us this round. Let's try and uh, turn it back around on him a little bit. I mean, we, we might even be able to, to do something here. There you go. That's kind of what I was expecting the first time. But I guess he was saving it for when it would kill. Understandable. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I'll do this. I'll do that. And then super skybound dart you. And, uh, you know, you get the situation looking a little bit more favorable for us. Uh, notable that Vasaraga does not have a reversal without 50 meter. He has two if he has 50 meter. But he has nothing with, uh, without it. He's got Brave Counter, I suppose. All right, bonk, bonk. And that's quite the comeback there, don't you think? Right on, I mean, I could have even punished him when he whiffed the big one, but uh, the big overhead sl slash there, but I'm very happy about that comeback from basically that boss completely running away with the rounds earlier on to us bringing it back. You know what, I, I still got it in me. I know, I know I've been, you know, I, I just got I just got clowned by that Loane, but you don't have to completely lose faith in me, I promise, you know, I, I still got it. Ow, ow, ow. Being that still got it, Vasaraga definitely does still have armor and big moves that he can just use to disrespect me and neutral, and even on my own offense, which I respect. Oh god. Interesting. Got a little uh, antsy there trying to brave count or something, I think, is what happened to Voss in that situation. But my my aerials, they hit late, brother. Bonk. Uh, I think he's going to do something invincible, is my guess. Nope, he's not. Oh, is this hit? Yeah, 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 that it does. I didn't know how big of a vertical hitbox his uh, Super Skybound Dart had, but it's actually almost entirely vertical, so I have been reduced to atoms. I was trying to jump over a potential uh, reversal there, right? But unfortunately, I did not realize that Vasaraga's Super Skybound Dart, because there, there are some characters who their Super Skybound Dart is not actually going to cover that space in the way that they want in that situation. Vasaraga, not one of them. Vasaraga's totally fine there, as you guys are. Whoa! That hit me. Still. Oh, oh god. Yeah. This is... Let's, let's try and, and uh, bring this back a little bit here, because this round is just not going our way so far. Okay. Brave counter. That's fine. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, like, that was... That was kind of... The round was spiraling out of control very rapidly there, so that was uh, a time where we really needed to... Like, that's a bit of a test of... Uh, not necessarily... Like, it's not necessarily mental, but a little bit, right? Where it's just like... To be like, okay, I, even though that round this was going horribly and, and like everything was going wrong, and there's a couple scramble situations that I lost, and I flubbed my butts a couple times, can I still like focus up and uh, oh no, and manage to at least start to bring it back? We might still lose the round because I mean the boss has his own chance for a comeback here potentially, but unfortunately that big uh, dash there is going to be pretty minus to my understanding. So we get the punish on it, we get the win, and uh, yeah, we this boss he's on his demotion match now to potentially head back down to S plus one. I, I take no pleasure in, put, in potentially you know, sending him there, but listen, man, it's nothing personal. I just need to get back up to S plus plus three. I got places to be. Bonk. Yeah, so that little cheeky reset there that I figured in a bit of a, a panic situation, such as the one this Vasaraga is in, he might not be prepared for. Understandable. Have a nice day. Ow, ow. I didn't know that one. That one, I think, maybe he spaced it out enough that it wasn't minus, or maybe I just used the wrong button to punish. Who knows? 
Anyways, I mean, I like that he's, uh... Okay, I was gonna say, I like that he's missing a little bit of uh, meter here, so he can't Super Skybound dart me necessarily, but... In any case, he that one looks pretty minus, and was pretty minus, so... Especially since it wasn't very spaced out. Also, what is this music? Is this, like, more Battle Pass music? I like, I've never heard this before, and this actually... This is the same guy who does the uh, the main theme, right? The the guy who sounds like the JoJo st stand proud in the bit. Uh, I I love his voice. He just is so like I feel I feel like I want to I want to go out and like die in a war. <laughs> okay, maybe not maybe not quite that, but you get my point. Right? Like this is this is like this pumps you up. I'll let you reversal me here if you want. Yeah, because the alternative is if he did hit me with command grab there, it's not that big of a deal. And if he if he didn't, he dies. Uh, if, uh, he could have spot dodged, but I just didn't expect him to. He hasn't really shown that he's ready to do that on the wake up raging strike. So. Okay, okay, okay. Weird, uh, we weird little session here in the sense that, you know, we, we fought a bunch of characters that completely reduced us to atoms. We fought that Kag and that Fairy, right? And then we also, uh, got out here getting gimmicked by Lowane a little bit. But, you know, I think we, we did at least, if not, we, we didn't figure anything out necessarily in those, in those fights that we, we sort of lost. But we began the process of, like, identifying, okay, I need to learn what to do about this and this and this. Because people are using different, uh, tools or they're using their tools more efficiently. Uh, this high up than they were, you know, S S rank Cagliostros or S rank Loanes. So we're not we're not doing these sort of shenanigans to me. So uh, we're 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 starting our journey there to really figure out how those high rank players work and uh, for those specific characters. We don't see them very often, and otherwise we were playing pretty well. I think we had some pretty decent back and forth sets. So I'm I'm happy overall. Even though we lost a little bit of rank progress technically, I think overall uh, we're we're lost like two gems or something from S plus plus three. We're still we're duking it out. We are very firmly an S plus plus Ladiva now. We are an S plus plus Ladiva. There's no no discussion about that, right? Now it's just a matter of like it, it'll be for us to demote out of S plus plus. It's going to have to be a very prodigious losing streak, right? But even if we're not playing our best, we can still stick around in S plus plus. That's huge. We that was not been the case for a long time. So now it's just it's one last hurdle to get through where we have to be beating other you know the S plus plus level people consistently, even like 60, 70, 60 percent of the time, right? That's going to start us on an upward trajectory there. And we'll be uh, getting to, to master, hopefully. So, obviously, a problem for upcoming videos. For now, if you made it this far, I got three things for you, as always, brother. For number one, if you like the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free. It don't cost you nothing. Uh, greatly appreciated, of course. It helps out the channel a lot. And for number two, while you're down there, that subscribe button, that bell button, they're also there, and uh, they're free as well to keep you up to date with this road to master as we try to claw through the last little barrier here between us and the highest rank in the game. New videos every noon EST until the heat death of the universe. So stay up to date with that by hitting those two buttons there. And finally, of course, for number three, more important than whatever buttons you hit, whatever algorithm interactions you hit me with, I appreciate those, of course. But most importantly, I hope you had a great time hanging out today, man. I know I did. I know I did. This game, you know, where uh, the journey is per possibly coming to a close soon, right? I would imagine maybe, you know, in the next week or two here, we might be looking to be at least in that range where we're in that, you know, potentially in promos, potentially knocking on the door, maybe earlier, maybe later, right? We could have one really good session and suddenly find ourselves in S++1, so uh, it's it's been it's been a hell of a ride, and there's still a little bit more to go here, so it's going to be a lot more Grand Blue coming your way, but for now, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!